little kid by my office the other day. One of my, one of the people that worked with me, he came and introduced me in the hall that day to his son. What's up, man? How you doing? I said, you make your bed up this morning? He said, no, sir. I said, oh, you probably didn't want to talk to me then. And then I left. And then his dad said, you know, H, he always talk about you. He read your book. I said, he did? I said, I know that's in the book. He said, I'm telling you, he read your book. Then that afternoon, he came into my office. And we talked. He said, how you doing, Mr. White? I read your book. I said, that's cool. I said, but you didn't tell me you made your bed up. He said, I didn't. I said, that's OK. I said, well, let me ask you something. Because it really makes me no difference. Probably make your mama happy if you did it. But I said, you ever heard of the Green Berets? He said, yeah. How about the Navy SEALs? He said, man, yeah, I heard of the SEALs. I said, how about the Army Rangers? He said, man, they tough. I said, how about the paratroops? I said, they all make their bed up every single day. He said, they do? I said, every day. Now, if they got to go on a big mission there, they probably can get away with it. They let them off the hook if you got to go out and save the world <laughs> every single day. And he said, well, why is that, Mr. White? I said, habit. See, if you took a single drop of water, one drop of water, and if it fell on the same surface continuously, I don't care what the surface is, it would find a way in. A single drop of water. Habit is one of the most powerful things in the universe. Warren Sapp, you know Big Sapp. Big Sapp just, just retired. And Big Sapp said, my dad told me the most minute movement done over and over again makes greatness. See, he didn't say you got to upset the pace of the world, he said the most minute movement. See, because if you want to get to the hole, that means when you hit him, I got to be there. I can't wait for the train coming next week. I can't say the bus going to come, make the hole bigger. I better be there. And it just don't happen like that. It comes from executing over and over and over and over and over. You heard the story, they say, but well, Mike, he bet the ball, he liked to gamble. He bet the ball on the free throw line. I can make that with my eyes closed. Over and over and over and over. That's why he can make it like that. Simple movements. I think that greatness has this. Habit, discipline, in structure. If you can create habit, discipline, and structure, you can do anything in the world. If you want to be great, it's a simple process. I tell people all the time, it's simple. See where you want to go and see it crystal clear. Number two, decide what you're willing to give up. Decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Number three, write it down somewhere. Because they say that only 20% of the people in the world have written definite positive goals. 20% of them. So heck, if you just write it down, you done leapfrog how many people? Many people. Huh? A lot of people. You done leapfrog yeah, if 20% of them, if 20% of them got written definite positive goals, if you write it down, how many you done leapfrogged over? 80%. 80% of the people you leapfrogged over just by simply writing it down. And number four, just do it. Every single day, be about the business of making your dreams come true. Every single day. 